Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me doing an extra problem uh, on Lead Code Daily Challenges, August 10 or, uh, on 2020. So, yeah, let's kind of do a to do one that, one that we haven't done before. And let's see. Sometimes I get a premium one. Okay, that's good. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, especially if you like these bonus questions. And let me know in the comments so that I could keep doing them. I might stop at, at a certain point, but, you know, if you. If, if enough people, you know, keep it alive, then maybe I'll do keep doing extra problems. Anyway, today's problem is we real cards in increasing order. So you're given an, an integer array deck. There's a deck of cards where every card has a unique integer, and it is decks of I. You can order the deck in any way, or in any order you want, and all the cards are face down initially. Like the top card of the deck, we really have taken out of the deck. Uh, if there are no, still cards, we can pick the next card and put it in the... Go back to step one. Stop. What? Uh, I don't know that I understand what's going on here. Okay. So you take the top card of the deck, reveal it, put it out of the deck. If there's still cards in the deck, then put the next top card down at the bottom of the deck. If there's still unrevealed card, go back to step one. Otherwise, stop. Okay. So we get in this order. After some reordering, we get. Review two and then move to the thirteen to the bottom. Three, eleven to the bottom. Okay. Um. <clears throat> so basically, you want so you have this algorithm and you want to reorder this deck such that this is the case. Okay. Um. I think what I would do is just do a simulation, and then get the original numbers that way. Right. Mm. What I mean by that is that okay. So okay, I think the first thing we should do is just simulation, and this is going to take um, all of n time, uh, even though n is only a thousand anyway, so it's fine. But because the idea here is that um, every time you reveal, or every loop. We will, we, will, we will have the cards, so then you get this recurrence of O of n, then n over 2, and then n over 4, dot, dot, dot. So it will be O of n in the number of reviews anyway. I mean, it has to be because that's the number of cards, but also in terms of iteration because that's fine. So, yeah. Um, and after that, we'll, we'll get the order of uh, the deck of cards and how things reveal that we can map it to the initial deck. So let's do it. Um, first, we will sort because we the input order doesn't really matter. It seems like because we're gonna we could reorder it anyway. But then now we want to say um, let's say n is equal to length of deck, and then we want to say uh, maybe sorted deck is equal to uh, let's just do sort, select deck, and then maybe i for i in range of n, right? I think this has to be a list. Um, yeah. And then now we just do the simulation, right? Um, and then here we go, maybe lookup is what we call it. And then, and then now we do the simulation, which is that while length of S deck is greater than zero, um, we do uh, top is equal to S deck dot pop left, right? And then lookup of top is equal to like current or something, right? So this is like the index, maybe t for time, you want to say? Okay, fine, let's do t for time. So t is equal to zero, and then, yeah, and then we increment one at the very end. <clears throat> and then, of course, we have to do another, we we, we reveal the next number. Yeah. And then we put it into the bottom, right, at the, uh, at the end again this is basically step two okay so then this now we should have you know let's take a look right so we ran it for the first case it has seven numbers so yeah so now we have uh, an output here and yeah so that means that the smallest number should be at zero and then the the second smallest number here and then two three you know and so forth right so that's basically the idea so that means that our answer is equal to, uh, let's see, uh, lookup of, uh, uh, 
I'm trying to do it in one line. Maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, so that means that the i've smallest number in deck. So the lookup. So yeah, ends. No, I think that's because I did it in a weird way. So yeah, so what I want is four <sighs> i in range of n, say, right? <clears throat> um, then answer of lookup sub i is equal to uh, deck of i. I think that's good. Um, basically, it's saying, okay, so yeah, this is the lookup. We go, we want the smallest. I think I did it the other way. Hmm. Yeah, I think I did it the other way. Whoops. Okay, then I guess this could have been one line. Okay, yeah. Basically, the i number of the answer is going to be the original, you know, x number. And now, actually, now that I see it, I guess we could have just, you know, done it in a one-liner. But, eh. Because I forget which, or I, I couldn't visualize in my head um, which way, uh, it, which, which, um, just like, yeah, I have to sign it out and visualize it. So, yeah. Uh, okay. Ooh. I get the classic, you have to attempt to one code too quickly. So give me a second. Just want to run at least for the input. So that looks good. So let's give it submit. Cool. Um, it's a little bit slower than others, but uh, it's going to be n log n for, for the sorting. And I think that's most of the work. Um, you probably could reason out the logic, but I, I feel like, you know, you would have to prove it. Like I said, this is, so other than the sorting, this is going to be linear time and and yeah, and linear space because, you know, we do a lot of linear space thing. I don't think I have to explain that. So yeah, um, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Stay good, stay healthy, take good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.